Dobry Cześć Nalo. Today, guys, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I think American cities can learn from Polish cities, like Warsaw. So today, I wanted to kind of walk around Warsaw and maybe show you guys around, tell you some of the differences between American cities and, well, the benefits of Warsaw. By so, the way, it's so cold. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly today. <laughs> so I hope that intro was good. So I'm just doing one. And I'm not used to vlogging, by the way, but uh, here we are in the Centrum Warszawy. I think one of the first things I noticed was that there's a lot less homeless people than in American cities, in places like, and, and also trash. So, for example, like in New York, you know, and I have to say this too, is that I'm, I don't mean anything bad about that like I know homeless people don't obviously get to choose you know that they're homeless you know it could happen to anyone is what I'm saying so where are we going right now you wanted to see Stalin's dick can we is there a way to get on top of this building which one this one right above us <laughs> for sure not you would have to um, book an apartment Trump's apartment in Marriott <laughs> this isn't Marriott is it it is no it's not yeah it is I love how we pick always when I vlog. It's always the coldest, windiest days. Always. Yeah. I'm not used to people staring at me when I vlog and stuff like that, but that's what's happening right now. But uh, I have to learn to not care. In the US, there's a lot more homeless people walking around and also a lot of drug addicts. But when you go to a place like Warsaw, it's, I mean, it's like everything is clean. There isn't trash and Okay, I just want to make a remark. This is city center. We are in the city so center, but still, even on the outskirts. Wants to show the best of, of the city. Of course, so every every capital does. But I mean, if I'm in DC or DC New York clean. or God forbid Los Angeles, DC I mean. Is clean. Yeah, New you York didn't. Isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyways. That's just one of the first things I notice, and there's no trash anywhere. There's trash cans, but there's no trash like on the street. It's quite nice. All right, what's going on guys? Before we get into the next point of this video, I just wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is italki. And italki is one of the best platforms to learn a language. So as some of you guys know, I actually started learning Polish with just a grammar book. And actually what happened was I got really bored of it. And as such, I lost almost all motivation to even learn Polish. But then what I did was I went to italki and I started learning through that and through a personal teacher. And what happened was the teachers that I had really motivated me to keep learning the language. They helped with all my pronunciation. They helped with grammar, but they also made it fun and interesting. And so italki really helped me with learning a language and I guarantee that it could help you as well. And actually I mentioned italki in most of all of my language learning videos before this one, before I was even sponsored by them. Italki is the top rated language learning platform. 19 hours on italki is actually the equivalent to one college semester. And each teacher sets the price of the lesson, so you essentially pay what you want. And you can study online from anywhere at any time that best suits you. And there are qualified native teachers that personalize a study plan just for you. And trial lessons started actually just one euro. So sign up for free with my link and italki has what's called Black Days, which is the biggest sale of the year, up to 50% off. And this will run until the end of November. And most teachers offer packages for five lessons up to 25%. So you can save up to 75% by adding a Black Friday coupon. So make sure to use the link at the top of the description below. And anyways, guys, let's just get right into the next point of today's video. Okay, so of course it started raining, but I think the next point that I wanted to talk about is conspicuous consumption. The other word in the US is keeping up with the Joneses. And in Poland, I say keeping up with the Jans. Essentially, it's where people are always trying to out purchase another or they're trying to have one better item than the other or they're trying to have that nice watch and in the US you know it's having the sports car and maybe a big house here I think it's having a nice BMW and maybe some Apple products like an iPhone or something like that but yeah that's that's probably the next thing and this is universal I think for every single city but you can especially see it here and also you can see for example like You'll see a G-Wagon 
sitting right next to an old car from like the 80s and that's also extremely common here as well but yeah horrible day horrible day to do this horrible day to be here it's raining it's cold uh, but what else is new for my vlogs so the next point is uh, crime and I've never heard anyone say anything about crime here and you know if you go to a place like for example Baltimore there's areas where you're just not supposed to be you're not supposed to be anywhere near there and you know a lot of people will tell you okay don't go to this street don't go to that avenue etc and that's the same with New York I feel like this umbrella is about to fly and with Warsaw I've never once heard that and in fact there's a few places where polls have told me you know are supposedly dangerous I don't think they've ever been to a city like Baltimore or Los Angeles or New York because you can't even compare it there's relatively no crime here and all of the stereotypes of carjacking are something that was just you know in the past it's just not a thing here anymore so yeah uh, one more thing that a lot of US cities could learn from Warsaw would be just less crime All right, so the next point is the cost. And this is a big difference when we're talking about cities. You know, if we're comparing Warsaw to, for example, New York or Los Angeles or hell, even DC. But um, I'm staying in the center of Warsaw right now. And this is an Airbnb and it costs it around $39, $40 before cleaning fees and things like that. Uh, nice little small place. I mean, for what it is, right? Right in the center of Warsaw. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna, like, if you go to New York or Los Angeles, you're not gonna get a place like this right in the center of it for this cost. It's just not gonna happen. All right, so I mentioned earlier about the apartment that, you know, it's $40. It's pretty affordable, right? Well, I mean, at the same time, if you compare it to Polish salary, I mean, it would be on the same level playing field as you know, if you're getting a hotel and, and you live and work in New York, you know, right? So you do have to put that in perspective when you're here that, yeah, it's extremely affordable for, you know, USD holders, but at the same time, it's, uh, it always equals out to be the same wherever you go. Why do I, why am I doing this? <laughs> um, it always equals out to be the same wherever you go. I like this art, that's pretty cool. Isn't it great? It's amazing. It's the best. So normally in the uh, nice afternoon sun, this place is really fun and, and it's beautiful and it's cool to walk. It's packed uh, with people. Yeah, and there's great restaurants to go to, but uh, not today because just like always, I picked the worst day to ever decide to vlog. But I already started, so I'm gonna finish I'm at this point. I'm happy you mentioned that. And then the next thing I wanted to talk about is dress and what people wear. In Warsaw, people, when they go out, like when they're walking around, it looks like they all took, <laughs> it looks like they all took a lot of time to think of their outfits of what they're gonna wear for the day. You can clearly tell that girls are putting on makeup and really trying to, I don't know, look good, guys, same thing. They're trying to, I guess, look professional. I don't know. I mean, do you think more people do that here than compared to other cities? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it seems like. People yeah. want to look, um, they want to stand out in a way with their outfits. That's yeah. how I feel. And then the younger generation here, they kind of remind me of like the punk generation of um, kind of like in the 70s and 80s. They wear a lot of like 70s clothes and I always kind of feel like I'm on my way to a Lady Pank uh, concert when I'm here because of that. Because they all look like a bunch of rockers and stuff. It's kind of interesting. So anyways, here there's Viswa River on my right and a cool walking path and then there's some cool restaurants to visit and of course we're the only 
tourist people out here today. So as we walk into the old town, there are so many churches in Poland to where Poles have many memes about how many churches there are, especially in the old town. There's a church on every corner. I also wanted to mention that the quality of life here is great in Poland. It really is. And I know Poles would probably describe uh, Poland as... Can we go up here? Or no? Sure. Let's try it. Yeah, I know a lot of Poles would probably describe Poland as hell on earth. And I kind of find it comical to be honest, but um, I really think Poland is a great place. Quality of life here, can't beat it. All right, so that's all I got today, guys, for this vlog on some of the things that American cities could learn from Warsaw. And I'm signing out from the old town, pretty chill. And yeah, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Dziękujemy i do widzenia.